Okay, thank you, uh, Professor Sanjoy Barua Choudhury for a good research and good presentation. Now I would like to invite uh, the next delegates, um, Dr. Yasothara Silipa Prapagorn from Mahajula Longkorn Lachwitayalai University, uh, Surin Campus, Thailand, and Okay, please. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon from Thailand. My name is Dr. Yasothara Siripa Prapakon from Mahanchola Longkorn Ratvitayalaya University. Together with Surya Krangrit Krugwood Kantian Titima Michang, we would like to take 10 minutes to talk about value and benefit of annual festival related to Prasad in border area between Thailand and Cambodia. Case of Phnom Dong Rak district, Surin province. Before we begin, I would like to say thank you for accepting our paper and allowing us to present today. Surya Krangrit will now present it. Please enjoy. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Yusodara. Okay, so let's start the presentation. Okay. Okay, values and benefits of annual festivals related to Prasads in border areas between Thailand and Cambodia, case of Prasad Tamun, Prasad Takwai, Phnom Dong Rak District, Surin Province. Okay. Okay, I will, I will talk briefly about the introduction. Okay, so Surin is one of the province located in the south of Isan, where it shares the border with Udomi Chai, the kingdom of Cambodia. Okay, so Surin D. Our geographical area also has a long history, more than 2,000 years, um, from Khmer Empire periods all to now. Um, the only archaeological evidence that shown the prosperity in the past is that Prasad. Okay, so the other words called ancient temple, century, or someone called stone temple for uh, in this paper, I would call Prasad, okay? So there are Prasads which are located on the mountain in the border area between Thai and Cambodia, which are Prasad Tamun and Prasad Thakwai. Both of them are, Phnom, are in Phnom Dong Rak mountain range. So the situation and problems are occurring in these areas. Many so people realize that the border is an area for criticizing about border unrest, okay? So, and also the conflict about the historical heritage of Brasad, like as the case of the conflict and criticizing on Brasad, Tamun, as you have seen in the news on television, okay? So it is a red zone area with the conflict. Uh -huh. So, and the problem also affecting to the people in the community, for the area as well. So those are the reasons lead us. The question about is the culture still important? Does it make something change for better life in the society? So in terms of our values and for an individual and for the society. So that's why we, we need to understand about the benefits and the values of the tra traditional festival so in this area, because we believe that the result of the study can be a guideline for developing international festival for peacefulness and sharing mental benefits between the nation, okay? So the objective of the study, so there are, the first is the study of the Prasad in the border area between Thai and Cambodia. So the second, to study an annual festival that related to Prasad. Okay, the last one is to study the, the values and the benefit of an 
and a festival for, for the community in the border areas between Thai and Cambodia. Okay, so scope of the study. So the first one, scope of the content, you know, number one is Brazil. Okay, number two is the annual festivals. So the third one is values and benefit of annual festival for the community. Okay, so the second one is the scope of the resources for the study. So the first one is about the second, secondary daughter. So we, we study from book, academic research paper, yeah, or academic paper. For the second one, we, it's, it's a primary data. So we, 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 we research, we study from our interview, 16 key informant. You know, because they are directors, officers from local administrative organization and local community leaders and 10 representatives from the business sectors. And for the last one, the scope of the area in this study, in this study is the Abrasatamuan because they are located in Phnom Dong district, so in province. Okay. So let's talk about method so that we use in here, I will have to focus about the data collection, okay, and analyze it. Because we there are two, because there are two kinds of the, the result that we use is the primary and secondary data. So um, for the first, it is secondary data, secondary data we use a documentary study, okay? And then we analyze it with the content analysis or with the data regulation invest or about the check, checking the quality of the, the data, okay? So for the primary data, you know, from in the interview, the technique that we use for collecting data for the data collection is about the, the, inter, in the interview and observation because with the interview guideline form. In here, this is the primary primary data we, we use the technique for analysis about the descriptive analysis. And then we, in terms of the, or how to say, checking the data, we use the resources triangulation, okay, for check the data after anal analyzing, okay. So let's talking about to the result of the study. So Prasad in the border area between Thailand and Cambodia. So the first one in the context of the Prasad Takhwai, okay. So the location Prasad Takhwai is located at Ban Thai Niyong Patna, okay, Phnom Dong Rap District, Surin Province. So the background of the Prasad is that it was built in the late Angkor Wat period. The beginning of the Bayon era during the Surya Warman the second to Chai Warman the seventh. So the present was built in the 11th, 11th centuries as a dedication to Lot Chiwar. Okay, so the purpose of the building came from the base beliefs in Hinduism for worshiping to Lot Chiwar. Okay, and the construction of the Brasad is on top of the mountain or the high land to make it look like the uh, Sineru, okay, mountain, so in the heaven, same as the, the place of the Lord, Lord Shiva, okay. So this is the context of the Brasad Bakhai, okay. So let's go to the Brasad, the context of Brasad Bakhai, okay. And Prasad Tamun is located in, in Ban Nong Kana Samaki, Phnom Dong Rak District, Surin Province. Okay. So the background of the Prasad is that it was built in uh, 1500 to 1600 Buddhist era. So the 12th to early 13th Buddhist century. Okay. For, for Tamun. You know. Um, in the Surya Warman, the first. So according to the belief of Brahmanism, Brahmanism too, and the purpose of the building from the base of the belief in Brahmanism or Hinduism. And it was built for the worship to Lord Shiva. And it was used for the ceremony as well. Okay. So this is the, is the context of the Prasad Tamun. 
Okay, so I'm going to talk about the, the an, an annual festival that related to Prasad Tamna. Okay, for the first one, it is a schedule. Okay, so the schedule, the annual festival that will be held in 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 every year, especially in 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 April for every once of the year. Okay, so the purpose of the annual festival, like uh, the mainly for worshiping and pay respect to the Prasa or ancient temple or the sanctuary. Uh -huh. So they will be worshiping activity like a traditional dancing or, and also Cambodian participate in the ritual and festival in every year. And there are so many people it's okay, in, in the festival, okay, in this festival. And I'm going to talk about the activity and program in the festival is that because there are so many activities in the fed in the annual festival, okay, such as praying Buddha mantra by Buddhist monks, joining in praying in their uh, and like making merit and dedication for the year, and the auto product shops like a uh, they have some food or auto product shop, you know, like the selling goods and local product. Okay. And they have some the activity of the boxing and football games in for the activity as well. So this is for the Prasad Amulan. Okay. For I uh, like it's, um, the activity that, that held it in an festival at Amulan. Okay. For the second one is about the, the annual festival that related to Prasad Tapai, okay? The first one is for the schedule. And the schedule of the festival at, at Tamungan. So the annual festival will be held in April every year, same same as the Tapai. And there will be worshiping activity, like a tra traditional dancing for offering in this, in this Prasad. So the purpose of the annual festival is that to, and also for worshiping and pay respect to Brasa or to Anzin Temple, or yes, also to the God or to sanctuary as well. So, and have for some about the programs and activity in the festival. There are so many activity in, in this festival, such as the praying in the morning, and for the Buddha Mandra by Buddhist monk as well, and joining and praying in the morning and dedication for the year. And also they have the, the chops, I mean the boot chop, okay, or the, the and all top chops in, in or in the festival, like for selling goods and local product as well. And also the game show like the boxing and and football game as well. And sometimes they have singing contests or on the concert at night time as well. Okay. So the last the last one I'm going to talk about the, the values and benefit of a non festival for the community in the border area between Thai and Cambodia. So the benefits from here, I need to conclude that, you know, the benefit for an annual festival that related to Brasa is can be the one into three aspect. Okay, as you see, as you see in here, you know, the benefit, like in the first one, okay, the first one is about their cultural beliefs. The second one is economy. The third one is politic and administration or internet or international relation. So let's see the first one is about the cultural beliefs. It is a concern, you know. The first one is, is about, it is concerned about the personal spiritual beliefs and it is one of the, 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 the way to carry in, to carry on the local tradition. So in terms of cultural preservation, this is the first, this is the first uh, benefit of the cultural beliefs, okay. The second one is about economy because there, there, there was an exchange and of the local products and the market in the community. Okay, so the third one is about the, about the politics because it is an international relation, especially international communication. It can create a good relationship between Thailand and Cambodia. 
and causing the peace in the community and also natural benefit. Okay. And, oh, sorry. <clears throat> the value is the last one here. The value is can be divided into two aspects, you know. The first one is an individual. It is a mother. It, the first value is about a spiritual, spirituality, you know, and it can be create the peace. The festival can create the peace of mind based on religious belief from the ritual or from the ceremony. Uh, by by the ritual or the festival and the festival and also the second is social is social value because it can an annual festival is can create, generate income you know in terms of economic and the build up a good relationship between thailand and cambodia so in terms of international politics and communication okay so this is about the benefit and value of the annual festival. Okay, so let's go to the last. Uh, get to the last topic for the for the presentation is about a suggestion. You know, for the first one is a suggestion for the application because the finding is can be used as a guideline for creating and developing the annual festival especially about activities and even opera program in another provinces or similar area along Thai and Cambodia, Thailand and Cambodia borders. Okay. And for the second one is about a suggestion for the next research, you know. So this should be for um, from the finding from the mind my idea. I think it, it should be there should be research in the Thai South research and development or R&D in order to develop the model for of international traditional festival for sustainable development between the kingdoms of Thailand and Cambodia. Okay, so this is our, this is about my presentation. So I have to say thank you so much so if you have any question, you can ask me, or you can send me some email to, and also you can send it to me and Dr. Yusodara. Okay, thank you so very much. Thank you so very much.